This illusion is called While You Can. Straight away, I have to break this painting down because it's powerful to me, and it's obviously personal. The figure is fighting an invisible force to continue. No, the force isn't gravity. What the figure is against can be summarized as oppression to feeling both internal and external. It infects the mind and the body, so... Even as the figure trudges forward, it is at odds within itself and its motives. As the motive acts as the cause and the cure for the melody that plagues it. The distorted neck grazes the foreground of the painting as the head looks back to see how far the body's come and what it's done. Is it ever enough? Its hands are clutched, not only behind its back, but through the gaping torso to the back. The body is fueled by blind hope. It feels as it has no right to hope. The legs are in a, in a staunchy sort of lunge, bearing the weight of a feeble and compromised body. To collapse seems like it's only a matter of time. Interestingly, the sketch I vividly remember drafting really lazily, but also very unconventionally. I started from the feet, and then I worked up, like, through the legs into the torso, and I think the arms came last. So it came together rather mindlessly. I think that's how some of my most meaningful work has come about. But I rendered it very well, so I only drew it once. This piece is sort of the start to a sub-series because other sketches follow it, experimenting on the same mindset or on different perspectives of diff, or on different perspectives of it. And I love them all, so definitely stay tuned for my next video because a variation of this might make an appearance. That is, if you care. But down aside, I don't have much to say about this painting. It came together without any problems, although the clasp hands were a bit challenging. They were decent. But the sketch was delicate and fluid, so the painting, I thought, should be no different. And it really redeemed me because my blood sugar wreaked havoc on the process of my previous painting. I guess I should mention the title is inspired slash derived from a Janis Joplin song. I haven't mentioned a song or music in a while. Um, and that's weird. The song is Cosmic Blues, and the line, the opening line to me really stands out. Time keeps moving on. And she goes on later on in the song, I keep moving on. I just, I don't know, something about it. When I look at this, I'm like, that is what this is. I actually don't think I listened to music when I painted it. So, I don't know, I can't really remember much of painting it, to be honest with you. This song and the painting sort of speak to me and what might be like a lifelong inquiry or a lifelong problem. It speaks to a sense of longing, aching, and wonder... Not to be bleak, since I'm on music, it's November 23rd, by the way, so this subject is likely to be dated when you hear it. Dermot Kennedy released Sonder. Beautiful. Maybe, did I say Sonder or Somber? Sonder. It's Sonder. And maybe it's because I love somber songs. Already Gone is one of my favorites from the album. I like One Life. It is a standout, and he mentioned it as a standout to himself, but really already gone or something about it like that sense of loss and the unrequited love subject it's just lovely and there's a line that I just I cherish and it's like there's a person who you must be and on the unrequited love subject although I, I'm I'm one to reject romantic interests prospects whatever you want to call it I'm not I'm not a good one to like I don't recommend that it's like nope 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 you don't want that let me convince you Anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.